in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Hey everybody, it's Bert. Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a great and safe New Year. You stayed out of trouble. You didn't blow yourself up with any fireworks. Best place for me around New Year's is to stay indoors, have a bottle of scotch, and watch Crunchyroll or Netflix and stay out of trouble. On the roll for today is doing the wiring tray and doing the side skirts, which are these things you can see right right here. I actually already did them, but I totally forgot to record stuff. Today we might even get to install the Mishimoto Racing Radiator and a couple other things for the coolant reroute. If not, we'll get to that at another point, but let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so now what we're gonna work on is the side skirts for the Exocet. Simple frosted black plastic or acrylic, from what I understand, it could be a different color. Honestly, I'm not sure, I haven't opened it yet. They mount to these little tabs that they have welded on here. We'll have to obviously drill those out, use the rubber grommet and attaching hardware for this and put them on there and it should look really, really nice afterwards. I know these are mainly designed to prevent you from getting hit with you know, debris and rocks and stuff like that when you're driving. I don't think they're really meant to provide any kind of safety or anything else other than you know, keeping stuff, you know, you're sitting here and you, don't, you drop your phone, it doesn't just go whoop and it's gone because I've done that. So <clears throat> anyway, enough about my stupidity. We are going to go ahead and unwrap these and see what we got. Let's do it. have the panel it's just got this plastic uh, it, it is frosted black plastic on the underside I'm not going to pull the paper off because I don't want to scratch it up at all and I don't really need to take that off in order to install it so we're just gonna leave it on there for now now there's this bag that comes with the kit it says Exocet side panel mounting hardware we've got 16 grommets that go in these little holes 16 jam nuts 16 locking nuts that have the nylon head and then we have 16 of these very nice stainless steel um, button head bolts as well that are going to go from the outside in. I got to figure out exactly what these jam nuts are for because I honestly don't know at the moment and I'll have to figure that one out. about 20 minutes I got all the grommets in they are not easy it's a very tight fit you have to push them down through the top and then you have to pull them through it really really sucks but they are in there they do look like they belong and whenever we have to go and remove this paper then it'll just tear out from underneath it so I won't have any problems you know getting that out at all and that'll look just fine but it all in all it looks very nice and as you can see uh, yes, it is a bit of a black frosted plastic here. There's like another coat on top of it, but um, that is the color. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and figure out how the hell this thing installs. Once you get your first one lined up to where you need it, I'm doing it to where it's nice and flush in the front and it's flush here at the bottom. You're gonna have a little bit of a gap up here, 
My main reason I don't want it up here touching this is because then it would rattle more than likely. So we'll try to prevent that as much as possible by giving it at least a little bit of a gap. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark out the rest of the holes with permanent marker, drill them out, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the bolts in. That's really all you need to do, but let's go ahead and uh, get everything marked. So one thing I am noticing with the tabs, they're not exactly where you'd want them to be. They're not going to be centered. They're going to be off to the left or to the right pretty heavily. I have a couple of them where I've got like 3 16 quarter of an inch before I'm at the edge, but the tabs, you know, an inch wide, maybe more. So do be patient. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about because it's kind of annoying me, but... I'm getting the same thing when I look on the forums. Everybody else has dealt with pretty much the same crap. So just make the most of it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see there with that black dot, that's where the tab, the bolt's supposed to go. That's where the bolt's supposed to go through. And that's not centered, unfortunately. Uh, some of them are centered, like the one in the very front is perfectly centered. But like the one in the front is fairly close to being centered. The ones in the bottom are fairly close to being centered. Unfortunately, when you get closer to the back, the back one here is not really on it at all, so I'm gonna have to adjust that a little bit. But just make the most of it. It's not perfect, but you should be you should be able to get it to work as long as the, the metal is not you know paper thin, and you know you don't drive like a madman. You shouldn't have any problems. It's just something I have a bit of a pet peeve with right now. And folks, that is going to bring today's video to a close. A big thing with the Exoset that I'm learning is that there's no real exact set way to do something. It's going to vary a little bit depending on who's building it, how you're going to build it, what you're building it for, and your donor kit. A lot of the bolt-on stuff, it will work. It's not going to be as perfect as you would like. Not everything's going to be perfectly on center, but it will work with what you need it to do. You just have to learn to have a little bit of wiggle room. And this is a kit car. Kit cars apparently are like this. This is the easiest kit car apparently to build on the planet, and I'm a complete idiot sometimes, so that works for me. But it's, it can be a little confusing at times. So if you're ever going at this, be patient and just know that you're going to have to do a lot of looking up online like I do to figure out how everything works. With that being said, it is about negative 10 outside, which means the garage is actually pretty damn cold, so I came back indoors. I'm going to go upstairs and kill something in Doom or Fallout 4 and enjoy the rest of my evening. Probably open a bottle of scotch. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. So, until next time, guys, 
I am Bert from Pixel Armory. Like, favorite, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. If you're a fan of Pixel Armory and Burt's Garage, feel free to become a Patreon subscriber, just like our good friend Patrick O'Connor and Nico Dache. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.